I'm gonna be honest, my friends, I considered quitting this challenge today. Not because I don't love building or even the challenge of fitting my builds into a confined space, but because of how poorly they're doing in comparison with my other videos. But a wise friend told me, use this as a learning process to try out new video styles. So fair warning, you'll be seeing quite a different editing style from here on out. Feel free to leave a comment below with your feedback. I would love to hear it. But back to today's build. When I say retro futuristic, what does that make you think of? If you said the Jetsons, that is exactly where my head went with today's build prompt, which was sent in by Opni. Opni is a fellow content creator that I've gotten to know, so go and check the description for the link to his channel and go give him some love. Now, after doing a bit of research, I am going to steer a little away from the circular home of the Jetsons and do more of a modular stacked on top of each other build. I just feel that in these past number of builds that I have created in my one chunk challenge, I've done a lot of circular builds and I wanna just stretch outside of that a bit. I also don't feel that a lot of the retro futuristic builds were super colorful. Maybe some orange, but a lot more concrete and metal feel which is why I've decided to go with the gray terracotta as kind of the main block to this build. I'm hoping to also be able to add in some brown mushroom blocks, maybe some packed mud or some dripstone blocks, but we're going to do the detailing and texturing a little bit later. Now that the shapes are made, let's start detailing the exterior by adding in some rooftop gardens. Some will have black glass as the railings topped with some iron trapdoors and others are gonna have a ring of grass and trap doors with a foliage planted on top. I went for less flowers and more greenery. So here you can see the grass roof sections hold dark oak slaplings, grass, and ferns. On the decks themselves, I've added in a decorated pot and a flower pot to hold a single flower. The details are simple, but the more I'm adding in, the more finished this place looks. Unfortunately, I'm still unsure how to add other blocks into the walls and in this small space, I think it might be a little bit too much. One of the marks of the build is the interconnecting ramps and staircases to get to all the buildings. This is a pretty small space, so not every single building is connected by a ramp or stairway, but adding this little detail looks really nice on the finished product. And who could forget the greenery? I made this raised grass platform for a reason and what better reason but to add a beautiful azalea bush. And in case you haven't recognized this build yet, it is modeled after Habitat 67, which was built for Expo 67 of the World's Fair. A very unique build and considered an architectural landmark and recognized building in Montreal, Canada. And wow, stepping back and seeing this full build in full detail, this is starting to look really good. But we can't forget those interiors. We have a super small space to work with, so they won't have much, but I think it's important to at least make it look like this place is livable. And because these homes are so small, I am going to break down some walls and connect a few of them together. This also works super well since the space is so small and not all of them are connected by our andesite staircases and pathways outside uh, to actually get into them. As for interiors, I am thinking adding some paintings will help a lot, maybe a few couches using quartz stairs as well, and I'd like to add a bed in most of the units. Although the size of each aren't really going to allow for that, so some of them are just going to get a few different decorations. For a cooking area, we'll use a smoker and add in a little storage counter space with barrels. To make it feel a little bit more homey, a bit of carpet on the floor will do wonders and to light it all up, I think end rods will work for the more futuristic feel. Although it looks like there's not a good space in a couple of these units for end rods, so we'll add in a couple of lanterns as well. And oh my goodness, putting this all together and we have a beautiful retro futuristic build. Thank you Omni so much for this build prompt. It was super fun to explore and design. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.